Good afternoon. My name's Kelly and I love sugar. In this video, I am going to go without any added sugar for seven whole days. No added sugar, no artificial sweeteners. The only sugar I'm going to be eating is gonna come from whole fruit and vegetables. The reason I'm doing this in January is because usually this is the time of year when we're all kind of sold these ridiculous restrictive diets to go on to make ourselves feel better and lose weight above all. In this video, I wanna see if going sugar-free for seven days will really be as life-changing as some people make it out to be, or if I'll just be grumpy. <laughs> this is what happened. Starbucks, we've just finished the gym. Uh, Mum is having a tea and some crisps, which I can't eat. Dad is having a giant cappuccino covered in chocolate that I can't eat with some lemon cake that I can't eat. And I'm having a boring, unsweetened decaf flat white. Yeah, because look, there, there's sugar. So I'm having one of these instead. I don't mind naked bars, but it's not chocolate, is it? At least they're sugar-free though. Okay, so it's getting towards lunchtime on day two of this delightful seven day challenge and the main thing that I'm really struggling with isn't so much wanting the sugar though obviously that is a part of it the main thing I'm really struggling with is just how much of my life I'm having to plan just now and it's only day two <laughs> like yesterday you know when I was in Starbucks my usual drinks order would be a uh, latte made with almond milk and of course I'm thinking <laughs> I have no idea what their almond milk contains. That's why I just went for regular milk. Um, I couldn't have anything to eat, you know, despite the fact I'd just been to the gym and would have loved something sugary, like a cake or a muffin or even just a little bit of dark chocolate or something. I couldn't because it all contained sugar, which was really pretty shit. It just makes it so difficult. You know, you're, I'm having to plan out every single meal that I have. The, before I go to bed, I'm thinking about what I'm going to have for breakfast and I'm having to make my own lunches. I basically can't buy anything, you know, shop bought. I'm having to cook everything and it's such an effort. It's just, it's not worth, in this day and age of glorious cheap convenience food, it's really not worth putting all this extra pressure on yourself of reading labels and having to cook everything from scratch. It's just, it's not worth it. Anyway, let's go home and see what I can make for lunch. Okay, so I've just got home and again, I'm cooking. I normally make soup with stock, you know, whether I have homemade stock or whether I have um, stock cubes or powdered stock or whatever. I couldn't find any stock that didn't contain any sugar and sadly I didn't have any homemade. But I still wanted soup because it's January and it's cold and I like soup. So in this pot, though granted it looks pretty disgusting just now, I have three carrots, one leek um, and one onion. And I thought instead of stock, let's just flavour it with a rainbow of spices. So I've gone for a kind of Indian spiced vibe. So all of these spices, I just added a half teaspoon of each. Um, I also added some Marmite, which has been my saviour so far this year, this year, this week 
because it is a lovely salty seasoning that surprisingly contains no sugar. Um, I also threw in some coconut milk just to kind of add to that Indian flavor. So it's actually smelling really good. Like I said, it looks pretty gross just now, but um, once it's cooked, I will blitz it up and I'll show you what I'm eating it with. Um, I stopped by our local butcher to get something for dinner. So <sighs> I'm very sad. In here, this is what my boyfriend is going to be eating for dinner. Again, it doesn't look particularly appetizing when it's raw. This is um, what our butcher calls New York barbecue chicken. So a chicken breast just kind of coated in a nice kind of barbecue dressing with cheese and bacon. We both love it. It's really savory. It's delicious, but barbecue sauce contains sugar. So he'll be having that with some other stuff, which again, I'll show you later. But the only thing I could get that wasn't just a plain chicken breast for my dinner was a pork and black pudding burger. If you are from out with the UK, black pudding is essentially what your country might call blood sausage um, or like blutwurst or I don't know where you're from. <laughs> so uh, black pudding is essentially made of um, dried blood. It doesn't sound appetizing, but it is so good. Really savory, really rich. Um, so I thought that that might be quite satisfying. Sadly, I couldn't find any buns to have said burger with, so I'll be eating it like a steak, probably. But anyway, I'm gonna let the soup finish cooking and I'm gonna eat, because I am hungry. Time for day three. Um, today I'm really hungry. I don't know if that's related to the lack of sugar or what it is, but I'm eating like every two to three hours and I'm still really hungry. <laughs> I don't know why. So I'll be honest, while I haven't been having the sort of crazy cravings that I thought I might have, I thought I might be just desperate for a piece of chocolate or some tablet or just anything. The thing that is kind of striking me the most is that because of how restricted I am, I have absolutely no enthusiasm to eat and it's getting me down a little bit. So last night, um, you'll have seen my dinner, you know, the leftover homemade beans, some potato wedges, which did make me happy because I thought that they would be off limits and that burger. And you know what? It was fine, but it made me really fucking sad to know that I couldn't have any condiments with it. The only condiment I could have with those wedges was vinegar, like vinegar. <laughs> I'm quite an intuitive and instinctive person when it comes to food you know I eat what I want when I want and I cook what I want and how I want and using what I want and I can't use sugar as a seasoning in the way that I normally do because sugar is more than just it's more than just you know this demonized thing it's like salt it's like pepper it's like spices it's a seasoning it makes things taste better and because I know that I'm having to restrict that and because I'm only able to eat certain foods I just, I'm not excited to eat. You know, even though I'm hungry, nothing is satisfying me because every single meal isn't as delicious as it should be. And that's kind of getting me down. It's probably, it probably sounds like a ridiculous problem to have, but like, let me show you lunch today. You know, it's nothing bad. In here, I've got some veggie sticks, got some chopped up carrots and cucumber. Took a couple of little clementines, a little kind of baby bell for some protein I guess some crackers and I also took some hummus I'm like there's nothing wrong with this and I would have this but there's just something about the fact that it's one of the only things I can have you know I, I don't know it's getting me down a little bit
afternoon, YouTube. Sorry, I haven't checked in earlier today. I've been at work all day and just busy with things. I have no idea what to make for dinner. I did have a plan to do veggie burgers, but I've had so much like fruit and veg already today that I'm just not feeling it. I want something, I don't know what I want. I'm, I'm kind of hungry, but I'm just feeling so apathetic towards all food just now. And also for the record, I know I've only been doing this shit for four days now. I feel no better than I did at the start of the week. I'm not even having any cravings. I'm just, I don't feel any better. I'm, I don't have any more energy than I normally do, you know, and that's usually the big thing people promise. And just, yeah, I feel exactly the same, just kind of more grouchy because I'm so restricted in what I can eat. Anyway, I'm gonna go have to find something for dinner. Um, this week's graze box just came in and I can only eat one of the four snacks the next few days until this bullshit is finished. But yeah, just thought I'd check in and let you know I'm still suffering. See you on day five. I just kind of boiled up just because I'm kind of short on time. I would normally like to roast it, but didn't have time, which I'm just going to make into a salad with this uh, halloumi that I just grilled. Look at it. And um, I'm just going to have this sort of basic olive oil, lemon, and herb dressing to go with it. So I'm just going to make that up for the lunchbox. And here I am browning up some turkey mints. Um, that I'm just going to use to make into a chili in the slow cooker. So in here I already have my kind of sauce bases, um, passata, shitload of spices, herbs, stuff like that. As always, recipe will be in the description below. And yeah, then I'm going to have to conjure up something to have for breakfast and um, finish all this within 20 minutes. What do you think the likelihood of that is? <laughs> Fucking miserable. I'm fucking miserable. Yeah, I'm fucking miserable. I'm fucking miserable. <laughs> this afternoon's snack is yet another naked bar. Got a new flavor. Ooh, wow. Um, I'm super excited about it. I'm literally eating just because I've had a pretty tiring day and would really, really love some chocolate just now. But you know what? That can't be done. I, I think I made all three of today's meals in under half an hour. Quite impressive and very tiring. <laughs> And since then I've had four hours worth of uni stuff spread throughout the day, I've been to the gym, so I am very tired now. Um, really kind of sick of this shit. Thankfully today is day five, I only have tomorrow and Saturday to go, but I'm going out for lunch on Saturday, so that could prove to be problematic. Other than that, basically just the usual, would not recommend doing this, I feel no different. Fuck life. <laughs> this video has just been, just, <laughs> so positive so enthusiastic you're getting the gist don't do this to yourself you know i talk shit on these bars but they're actually not too bad <laughs> First of all, welcome to day seven. It's the last fucking day. So excited. Uh, secondly, I have, a, I have a confession to make. 
The other night when I made that turkey chili for us, we always have our turkey chili with um, rice, cheese, and some tortilla chips or Doritos of some kind on the side. I ate two of them without thinking. So I have technically consumed two, two individual Doritos worth of sugar this week. But that's all. I stopped as soon as I saw that because I was like, no, I don't want this week to be in vain. Um, other than that, it's fine. I'm so ready for this to be over. And now I'm going out for lunch with some of the women that I work with and I am kind of nervous. I think I'm going to have to have something like mac and cheese because it's about the only thing I can think that they wouldn't add sugar to in some way. I would normally just have like a jacket potato with beans and cheese or something like that when we go for a pub lunch but there's gonna be sugar in those beans so apart from that there's less than 24 hours to go. I'm already planning what I'm gonna bake for myself for tomorrow and what I'm gonna eat and I'm so excited. So I'll see you soon. <laughs> So we come to the end of the seven days. You'll be glad to know that this is Sunday. So I had cake for breakfast and I've almost sickened myself with sweet things again already. I am much happier. <laughs> Let's just run through what I learned in the past seven days. First of all, this diet is ridiculously restrictive. There are so many things that I can't have and that's not as some people make it out to be a reflection on you know food these days and the way society is with sweetness it's just that sugar is an essential seasoning in a lot of foods these days as well so it made it really difficult to find foods that i could eat that weren't all made from scratch or kind of super healthy vegan snack type things this made shopping a nightmare and it meant that i was cooking almost all the time which even as someone who enjoys cooking became a real chore second of all salted popcorn isn't as bad as i remember <laughs> third i feel absolutely no different mentally and physically i don't feel any kind of improvement and i know it's only been seven days but i've seen no improvement in my skin any spots that I didn't have on my chin just appeared on my forehead instead, as you might be able to see. I didn't sleep better, I didn't have more energy, I didn't have any weird cravings. And while I did eat more healthily, it just made me really bloated and gassy. So that was fun. And fourth, finally, and most importantly, I wasn't happy. It felt like I was on some kind of weird, restrictive weight loss diet. I lost all enthusiasm to eat by sort of day three. <laughs> Days one and two, you know, it was still kind of fun and exciting, you know, and challenging having to cook all these things. But when it came to busy days, I didn't have the time to cook. So I was fed up of cooking. I was fed up of eating the same things over and over again. It's not a diet for someone who has a busy lifestyle. And I know that mine isn't even as busy as other people's. So don't do this to yourself. You'll restrict yourself of the things that taste good and make you happy you won't feel any better. You'll probably spend more money on cooking and all the other things than you would on your usual staples and, you know, the convenience food that gets you through life. It's been, it's been a pretty miserable, challenging week. Don't do this to yourself. If you guys enjoyed this video and you would like to see me take on more kind of eating challenges, not the kind of Matt Stoney eating challenges, just, you know, week long experiments and things like that. Let me know in the comments. But for now, that's all I have for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'm gonna go eat the cake that's in that box over there. See you next time.